Today I want to talk to you guys about self-love. With all of the spiritual gurus and life coaches out there, it seems like we have a bigger problem with self-love than ever before. And I kind of feel like that's on purpose sometimes to get people to sign up with you. Like you get in their heads based on something you say to reel them in. But it's a much bigger issue than just that. I was fortunate enough to have not been really bullied or anything growing up despite my wheelchair. And I think that's because I was always taught that other people's opinion didn't matter. And it was what I thought of myself. And even to this day, if somebody in my life has an opinion that's not in alignment with my own, I take it with a grain of salt. I let it sting for a minute, which I feel everybody should allow themselves to do and not bury it or brush it off, which is a whole other video about burying your feelings. But don't worry about what other people think. If you, it, It's all subjective. Something you feel confident in and secure in of yourself, somebody else might not uh, in their own life. And that is not your problem. Them pointing it out to you is their projection of their own insecurities. If you want to go out, hair and makeup, that's fine. If you want to go out looking like you would watching TV at home, that's fine too. I guess coming from New York where everybody is different and nobody really cares or pays mind to everybody's differences, it never really mattered to me. And I don't think it should matter to anybody. There's something special in everybody. And it's our responsibility to see it first. It doesn't matter if anybody else sees it. Do we all want to find somebody? Yes. Do we all want to be surrounded by amazing friends? Yes. But the only way we're going to find the right people is by being our true selves. That's all there is to it. You can't expect anybody to love you without loving yourself. And I know a lot of people disagree with that because some people do say, oh, you know, this person loves me, but they're the most insecure person in the world themselves. But I really don't think because you're not being your true self, how are they supposed to really love who you are? They love what they're seeing, but they're not seeing you in your entirety. So my challenge to you is to unapologetically be yourself. Accept yourself. Love yourself. And don't give a crap what anybody else is thinking. And the reason that I'm trying not to curse in this video is because I really hope that the younger generation sees this video. So parents, kids, teenagers, whoever, please show this to somebody that you care about and love. 